Yes, I the Maverick there again, you know. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here again. Yeah, so as promised now, yeah, after discussing, right, and putting some highlight on the depth and quality where we have in a female sprint in Jamaica right now, we are following that up right now with the recommendations, right, and the suggestions as to how we ought to do some justice to our talent pool by smashing that four by one record. Jamaica must get that four by one record in and out of this era, this golden era, Jamaican female sprinters. Must. It will be a travesty if we allow this era Jamaican sprinting for pass and we don't break that world record. Right now, the world record, they are 40.82. Yeah? Jamaican national record, they are 4102. See? We don't see why, right, with the quality where we have, see, that we cannot break this world record. You know what it means? I say break. Broken this month, this world record by a distance up the on the Oregon track at the World Championship. So we don't see why. You don't know it really is, you know. Different coaches and different experts have their own philosophy about how to set up a really a team. See, you know, them have this, a lot of nuances with them have when they make them decisions, you know. You know, you know the chemistry of the, the sprinters, you know, the, the who is better able to run whatever uh, maneuver, whatever aspect of the track, who start best normally, the bullet start and normally start it, you know, you know your, your top sprinters down the street, always around the back straight, one of your good corner run around the third leg, and of course, your ankle leg. Sometimes men put the weakest um, sprint up on the ankle leg. Me not buy that. That could have never happened in any relay where me have anything to do with it. Anyway. I'm going to set out the order in short order and make you know how, see, we're supposed to do the obvious and do the right thing and break that world record. No excuse for leave Oregon without that world record. These girls have been so good, you know, and continue to be so good, you know, that we are look past the gold medal now, you know. Eh? We are look past the gold medal now, you know. And the world record we are look past, man. You remember the other day at the character games? When the under 20 girls were running, we not talk about gold medal the day before they break the record. The day when they were running and all the commentators and all the fans and all the experts. Nobody ever talk about to win the, the gold medal, you know. Or even the runners themselves. When Tia Clayton fly across the line and she look on the clock, you know, she said, yeah! And she jump in on the air. She said, I see them so when they see the girls going into these world championships. We are look past the gold medal. See? And we are employing the coaches. If we do the right thing and do the necessary thing with the button changes. And that's important, you know. Two dynamics to really is, you know, outside of raw speed. See, button changes and where you put each runner. It is important. If you are talking about world record margins, it is important. Of course, it is always important how you pass around the stick. But in terms of who you allocate to each leg, I think with something as, as with our fine margins as a world record, it may make a difference in the end. Anyway, so here my lineup now. See, I will not have to reinvent the wheel too much, you know. But me think and that little tweak here, I'm going to make me run faster. Trust me. All right, so the starting leg, of course. And the bullet starter, Brianna Williams. She did it in Tokyo last year, and she got a taste for it. Her very first Olympics as a 19-year-old, and she won gold. She's improving, right? And we expect her to run faster this year. We expect her to even improve her start this year. Of course, you know, you have other police starters. You know, there's a girl named Kemba Nelson. I run for the circuit, not the college circuit up, up, up in the States. Eh? Kemba Nelson, no, a normal start now, you know. And she's also a sub 11 sprinter as well. But of course, we're going to have to see how it go at the trials. We can the relay pool. We're going to see how that work out at the trials with the relay pool. But as we have it now, you expect that Brianna Williams will make the team, and I would have her to start. Now we start this man thing now. Because on second leg, the longest leg in this really. We have set up this leg for me, the longest leg in the really. I have Shelly and Fraser Price. <laughs> the second passes. Second passes woman alive. Running the back stretch. Yeah. Boom. Not very many people in the world. Can manage Shelly and Fraser Price flying on a back stretch. Seems to be a put Shelly round for the back stretch round this. Third leg. One more little tweak. See? 
A Sherita Jackson me up on the third leg. Yeah, man. Long time, 400, 200 runner. Very comfortable at running the curve. She looking super shape right now. I see her run at a meet up at the stadium the other day when I look at her thighs. Me say, OMG, this girl is ready. Yeah, man. So Sharika on the third leg. And you know, if you guess who we're anchored, now by process of elimination, you know, so we are hand over to the fastest woman alive. Me have you said about that? Handing over your anchor leg to your fastest woman alive, it makes common sense. I think so. I always want my fastest sprinter on my anchor leg. But it's that aside, though, on that aside, I think it makes logical sense. Elaine Thompson, of course, has blistering top end speed. She has blistering speed all around, you know. But you see that final third, that final quarter race, that is when she normally overpower and blow her people. And here's the other reason why I think my best runner, my fastest sprinter, must be on my anchor leg. Again, with something as, with as fine a margin as world records in a sprint release. You want your anchor leg sprinter, just in case there's some, some little imperfections in the button changes or the previous three quarters of the race. You want somebody to be able to compensate for any imperfections with finishing the race strong. See? I mean, people going to have them preferences either way. You know? But personally, I've been thinking about this a long time. I mean, think if you've got Brianna to Shelley to Sherika to Elaine, eh? 40.65, me I predict. Shut up, me and shut up the 40.82 world record. 40.6 million. If we set up a really other way, then. see the only possibility. I, I well, it's not even a, it's a possibility. See, when you figure say the big three, Ilian, Shelly, and Sherika are gonna make the team. I don't know if Kevin else them are, are you know somebody else. Maybe Kevin or Davis or one of them girls that can come and spoil the apple card. But knowing the kind of competitor that Brenda Williams is, I don't think she'll be sitting on her laurels. And being satisfied with one Olympic gold medal or one major event gold medal. So she has come back ready for the trials and she has run faster. See? So what do you think about my order? Yeah? Brianna to Shelly to Sherika to Ilian. 40.6. Put it at 40.6 mid. 40.65. Smash, we are smash our world record. And anybody who broke back a world record, and we are go back and broke it back next year or, or sometime this. Make me leave the record at a level where, yeah, they have to look upon it and say, wow, that was the golden generation of the Jamaican girls. And that's how we put a record. Put it at somewhere where they see them say, wow. See, 40.6 we go. And if the button change, it's perfect, you know. We go 40.4, 40.5, you think we easy? Then, hold on. We have the two fastest women, you know, in the world right now, you know. We have a 10 6 runner and a 10 5 runner, you know. I mean, oh, Shelly a 10-5 runner right now. It was just a matter of time. And Ilian look like she can go 10-4 too. So there is no excuse why enough to mash up the world record. I mean, I tell you, if the coaches do the work on the button changes, see, and make sure we have that pot, see that everybody do them thing, no injuries, no nothing, 40.4, 40.5, man. We satisfied with 40.60. See, what do you think about that? Set up it. What you think about that? Oh, that. Eh? <laughs> eh? You have to come good, you know. And logical, you know. If you convince me, say that order is not the best order for that world record, you know. As we say, we are looking for the world record, the world record we are talking about. Eh? What do you think about that order? Best order! Maverick, right! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, check in on the comment section and tell me what you think. You know, remember, I say, Oral Tracy Maverick with the best and most credible opinion, you know. See, and all issues on which I speak, especially this issue. What do you think about? What do you feel like? Eh? Remember, write down the number, you know. Write down the time, you know. 40.65. And if we get things super perfect, 40.49, 40.50. Very possible. We have have this world record in a long time. And we don't have left Oregon without it. Boom, bang. Boom, bang. Check it.